today we'll throw out the lifeline to Mihai. Say hi, Mihai. Hello, Joe and OG. I have a question that pertains to estate planning, life insurance, open enrollment, amongst other topics. Our current situation is that I'm 42 years old and my wife is 34. We have twin 15-month-olds and a four-year-old. My Social Security benefits are the following. The total family benefits cannot be more than 5480. Survivor benefits, child or spouse who is caring for a child is 2348. And survivor benefits starting at retirement age is 3131. Disability is 3047. My wife's total family benefits cannot be more than 3637. Survivor benefits, 1499. And survivor benefits if benefits start at retirement age of 1999. For state family purposes um, and our planning, if my wife and I were to pass away and our children are still under 18, would the appointed caretaker in our will receive the survivor benefits from both my wife and I, or would it only be from the highest earning parent? Would the benefit max out at the total family benefit, or does it pay out per child? So if my benefits are total family 5480, but it's 2348 per child, what would come first? Our will is broken out between who takes care of the children, if something were to happen to us, and who manages the finance. Do I have to specify in the will that the Social Security is managed by the same person as the finance? Thank you. Wow, some great questions there, and this is a part of planning. Um, that, uh, can you repeat the part of the stuff where you said all about the things? <laughs> this is a part of planning that a lot of people uh, mess up. So talking about, uh, you talking about Social Security? Is, it, is those his numbers? Is those numbers he gave us? Yeah. Pension numbers? Yeah, Social Security. I mean, Social Security is a benefit that people don't remember that they have. But I also think it's one that is worth forgetting that you have as it relates to your contingency planning, so to speak. I wouldn't look at Social Security and say, oh, well, they're going to pay, you know, $2,500 a month per kid. So cha-ching, they'll be set because it's not super simple to get the government involved in your in your life. I'll give you a great example, just a personal one. My mom's been waiting on her Social Security check for, I think she's on month nine because she said she's got a complicated situation and they're just like, yeah, sorry, it's just really complicated. We'll let you know. And so that doesn't solve the problem. And, and as inexpensive as life insurance is, we just talked about it with Haven, probably you want to solve your estate plan using regular life insurance. And then, you know, if you get a kicker from social security, but in particular, the answer to your question is the family benefits are maxed out. So if you have another kid, then that's going to affect everybody else's income along the way. You know what I mean? This is the same thing if you have multiple spouses, <laughs> divorced spouses, right? And you've got a another situation that I'm familiar with. You've got a husband that earns money from his Social Security, an ex-wife that gets money from his Social Security, a current wife that gets money from his Social Security, and two disabled children who get money from his Social Security. Well, when the last person joined the, the party... <laughs> so to speak, when the last person joined the party, that effectively changed everyone else's math in that calculation because they're already at the maximum. So they got to give something to the to the other person who's entitled, but they're going to take it from, from the other beneficiary, so to speak. So that maximum is the maximum. How does Social Security in it payments to children integrate with the estate plan? If he has a different, it's called the conservator, the person that takes care of the money for the kids, Right. Versus the guardian, which is the person actually taking care of the kids. He's got two different people there. Will the money go to the conservator every month and the conservator doles it out uh, according to the estate plan? Or is there something he's got to set up? I don't know. This would be a great question for an estate planning attorney. I, I feel like the reality is, is that the Social Security money will be more heavily regulated by Social Security in the court system for the minor children than your regular estate plan. So probably whoever is in charge of the kids will be the one that will be in charge of the uh, Social Security benefits and will be required to report it to the court system when asked about how it was being used. But that's a good question for an estate planning attorney. Well, it's interesting. How about that? The phone's ringing right now. Let's pick it up. It's like the bat signal. Hey, this is Joe. Who, who am I speaking with? Hey, this is Devin. Devin Carroll. Mr. Social Security Intelligence, how are you, man? Fantastic. How are you guys? 
Well, good. And it's funny that you called in right now because OG and I have this question for our friend Mihai, and it has to do with Social Security. If he and his spouse pass away and the, his Social Security money is going directly to children, he has a separate guardian uh, and conservator. So conservator taking care of the money. He's wondering if he has to set something up with Social Security to have the money go to the conservator who's taking care of the money instead of to the guardian, or is there no way to do that with Social Security? Yes. Well, actually, there there is a way to do that. You couldn't do that in the past before death or a need came up to have a designated payee or a, a uh, representative payee. But you can do that in advance now on ssa.gov if you log into your my ssa account there is a way to set up in advance a uh, representative payee however i don't think setting it up in advance they're going to let you do a whole lot of fancy stuff they may let you name like a spouse or another family member i'm not sure how advanced they'll let you get but at the time of need there is a hierarchy that the administration will follow to go down the list. If this person is not available, then this person, and then uh, they'll continue to go down that list. And if there's written instructions, and if you let your family members know, then they will name the right designated IE. Awesome. So have your executor of your estate or contingent trustee then uh, work with Social Security is what you're saying. Yes. And you might want to log on to the website, go to your my SSA account, Dear Lord, everyone needs one. If you don't have one, set it up. Every day that passes and you haven't set yours up is another day that someone else may set it up for you for not so positive reasons. Really? There's a bunch of fraud in that area? I wouldn't say there's a bunch of fraud, but it certainly is. You know, it's enough that the commissioner of the Social Security Administration has made some announcements about, please set this up so someone else doesn't set this up for you. Wow. I don't know exactly what the extent of it has been. But uh, yeah, yep. I know those guys are constantly after your information. You need to set it up. Sure. It's a frustrating website to use in some cases, but yeah. A government website that's frustrating, that's a shock. I know, it is. <laughs> Devin, we're going to link everybody to Devin's YouTube page where if you want to know everything about Social Security, by the way, and uh, Devin also has a couple of amazing books on the topic. We'll, we'll link to you, man, for helping us out here. I really appreciate it. Well, perfect. Thank you guys for thinking about me. Well, there you have it, OG, right in time. Perfect, because I was way wrong. <laughs> and that's why, that's why it always pays to surround yourself with good friends.